Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I've been busy, but uh, working in the shop again. And one of the projects that I did was making a solid tool post for the Shaoblin 102 VM. It's really nice lathe, uh, the 102 VM, uh, but it could use some stability and some other reasons why I thought it would benefit a solid tool post. So I copied uh, Stefan and uh, Robin Rossetti's uh, solid tool post idea and made one for this lathe and I've used it a couple of times, I really like it. So uh, yeah, I thought let's make a video um, how I made it, why I made it and also some design things design things that I put into it. So I go, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So here is the tool post that I made. As you can see, it's a bit off center. Was a little challenge to turn it that way. Um, but before I show you how I made it, let's show you guys why I made it. So this was my normal cross light setup. And I always had a few problems with this setup. And the first one is I'm using the multifix type A and that's a little bit too big for this machine. It's a little bit too high. The smaller one, the AA type, is a little bit too small for what I think the machine needs for stability. So um, then I need to put this one. I could use two T-slots. I should be able to use them but I can only use them right at the end of the top slide and I actually need to put it over the end here for some bigger tools and bigger tools this 16 by 60 millimeter is a big tool for this machine but that one will be above the center line unless I drop it below the top slide and for that reason I can only put it over the edge and on an angle but even if I put it like straight then it sits on top of the table and it's above center line so I'm not able to use the range of the top slide and always had some problem with these little bit bigger tools and I don't think they're actually too big for this machine. The other problem is also oftentimes when I'm using small work I need to put the cross light all the way to the back and I'm running against well, let's loosen it running against my tail stock or the drill or the drill chuck and as you can see and it was not caused by me but a lot of Shaoblin 102's have these it's the little marring from the drill chuck because at some point you will run into it or run in here with the handle or you have to adjust the handle so it fits in here and it's always a little bit tight fit and a difficult setup so those are the two problems that I oftentimes have with this setup and the other one is uh, stability wise I think it definitely would benefit from the solid tool post and that's why I made it.
So you guys probably wonder how long it will take to uh, put the normal cross light back on. So let's show you guys that. Because it's a quite fast operation. Just have to change these screws for the original one because these are longer. So back on again. So as you can see it went quite fast. The only downside is I'm losing the height of my tools so I need to adjust that uh, if I put it back on the original one. Um, but I don't think that's a really big deal. So um, yeah, that's uh, how I change it. Yeah.